The Cowboys got big games from their two stars, Dak Prescott and Ezekiel Elliott, on Saturday night. Zeke finished with over 100 yards on the ground, including a touchdown run that put Dallas up by three. Then late in the fourth, Dak had maybe the biggest play of his career, running up the middle on third and 14 for the first down. Dak and Zeke won their first career playoff game, and Zeke had nothing but praise for his quarterback afterwards. Let's take a listen. What were you thinking when you saw him take off? Uh, simple. He's a grown-ass man. That's what it is. Uh, that, that's how he played today, and he, he led us to this win. I feel like I'm a grown-ass man just in general. So um, <laughs> <laughs> playing like it or not, uh, I'll take the compliment. We went into this this game um, expecting pretty much to do, do what we did, knowing we're playing a great Seattle team, knowing the game was going to uh, serve us some ups and some downs. But... Um, we expected this. We expected to win. So, I mean, as I said, it was, excite it was excitement. I mean, we're in a tournament where you win or go home, and we won, and we're going to go on to the next one. So it's about moving forward now. Okay, Shannon, what was the biggest reason for the Cowboys' win? Mm. I thought it was Zeke being able to run the football the mm. way he did because what he allows you to do is control the clock and keep the opposing team's offense off the field. If you look at Zeke through his career, when he rushes the ball for 130-plus yards, they're 10-0. He got to 120. He got to 137. Ooh. And when you can run the ball like they were able to run it, it sets you up for third and short, third and manageable. So now we can hand it to him again or we can go play pass. Um, and so I, I thought Zeke running the football. Now, look, there's enough credit to go around. But if you ask me, the one thing that the Cowboys must do to continue this, this, uh, uh, this role that they're on is Zeke has to continue to run the football. Yeah, the defense did an unbelievable job. They choked off the run. The number one running team had very minimal rush yards. And if you take away that 28-yard run by pinning the third quarter, the other carries were 23 for 45. Um, the Cowboys said, look, we refuse to let you run the ball in between the tackles. They did a lot of pinch in their ends. You see Demarcus Lawrence get a lot of tackles for losses. Gregory did the same thing. But when Russell kept the ball, he was scot free around the end. I'm surprised, Skip, they didn't run that more. They didn't put the ball in Russell and say instead of uh, sitting back here throwing it, maybe you run the ball a little bit more. But I thought Zeke being able to run the football, being able to control the clock, control tempo, I think, thought was the very key to them winning. Because if you look at Dak, yeah, and, and Skip, you know, you love, you know, ooh, Dak, he was this and he was that. Dak Have I spoken? Not I haven't said yet. a word yet. No. How do you know what I'm going to say? Because I just know you. Yeah. Dak was 22 of 33, 226, one touchdown, one interception. Huh. Okay, but he only attempted four throws over 15 yards. Huh. He's, one for, he's one for four. Huh. So it tells me he was doing what? A lot of dinking and dacking. Oh, oh and you, uh, just because I know you were going to do this, he averaged 6.8. If he had done that in the regular season, over the course of the season, that would have been 28th, 27th in yards per mm. attempt. So I don't want you to get all excited mm -hmm. about what you saw. Mm. But I just want you to know this before I turn it over to you. Mm. It's going to come to an end this weekend. Mm. That's all you got to say? Simple as that? <laughs> it was Zeke. I keep telling you, Zeke is how they butter their bread. Zeke is how they eat. And, we, and now, let me tell you, no, 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 jacket. Because now, it ain't good enough to do this. He started doing it with two hands. He's like, feed me. Yeah, he, he double-fisted it. He, he double-fisted it. <laughs> when he eats with two hands. Yeah! Notice yeah! yeah. <laughs> so, here we go okay. again. Okay. You just won't give it up. You just won't give in to what I've been trying to explain to you from day one on this show. The Dallas Cowboys go as number four Stop goes. it. They go as Dak Prescott goes. He is the heartbeat of this football team. He is the alpha. He is the leader. He is the driving force. And he has turned into one of the great playmakers in this league today. Yeah, but I'm not arguing anything that you said, that he's the heartbeat, that yeah. he's the leader. Well, I'm not arguing that. So let's look at what really happened here. When Russell Wilson and company, and I have the highest respect for Russell Wilson because you want to talk about mm -hmm. making plays. He, he made three throws in that game where I just sat back and said, that's just too good, mm -hmm. you know? He made blind throws with blitzers right in his face, and he just threw rainbows to Doug Baldwin and then to lock it a couple of times where I just said, that's just too good. But Dak Prescott was better. Dak Prescott outplayed Russell Wilson. Dak Prescott responded again and again and overcame Russell Wilson because what happened in the third quarter, late in the third quarter, Russell Wilson drove them down, and finally, to your point, they went 
read option, keep, keep, twice, twice, touchdown. There it was. And I was like, we, we can't stop that if they, if they keep doing that. And what did Dak Prescott do? He responded once again because he is the leader of this football team. And they go nine plays, 67 yards. And by the way, the signature play on that drive to get them into the red zone was 34 yards to Amari Cooper. So I don't know. He was dinking and dacking. But that, that was one. Maybe hold on, hold on. You see what you did? Yeah. He threw a 10-yard route. And then all of a sudden he goes another 24 yards, and now it's a 34-yard completion. Okay, but, but it wasn't 34 yards air travel. So that set up second and four at the 10-yard line. What has my team struggled with all year red long? What has stymied them? Red zone scoring. Sure. With so, touchdowns in the red zone. Yeah, they kick field goals, yeah, but you want touchdowns. They kick field goals, yeah. but I'm talking about Touchdown. seven yeah. points mm -hmm. in the red zone. Mm -hmm. So on second and four from the 10, what did the leader of my football team do? He audibles out of whatever the play call was, and I couldn't even believe this was the audible. This was the fallback play. This is. Do you remember the single wing? Because because mm -hmm. I from my first days in Pop Warner football, that those are the days of single wing football. Mm -hmm. He he gets the ball snapped to him, and he runs a power sweep left with Zeke leading the way as his lead blocker, and he just basically runs through the whole Seattle defense to the half yard line. That's, that's just my quarterback saying, I'm going to do this. I'm going to will this ball into the end zone. I'll take it home. And it was a beautiful play. It took my, as soon as it was snapped to him and he took off, I was like, Lord have mercy. This is not going anywhere. And Dak Prescott just said, nope, you can't stop me. I'm going to power run through you because you know what? He is a grown ass man. That's how he plays football. And that's what happened on that play. And then what happened later in the game? What, what was the final nail in Seattle's coffin, even though it got a little shaky after that? But what happened on third and 14 from the 16? You can't give that up. Huh? You can't give that up. It's a quarterback draw because Scott Linehan finally pulled his head out and did what I've been beating this desk for, run a quarterback draw. And Dak Prescott just basically goes right up the middle of the Seattle defense and nobody can tackle him because he's a grown-ass man who's going to will the ball into the end they zone. They were scared. Yeah, they They're, look scared. I, I, think, well, I agree you with know you. What, Skip? I think they thought they're approaching Dak like some of the other quarterbacks. They get someone get close to him, they're going to slide. Mm. Dak saw the end zone like, I'm not sliding. I'm going, going for it. He's going to somersault. He's yeah. going to flip. He's mm -hmm. going to helicopter as John Elway once did in a fateful Super Bowl that you mm -hmm. played in Correct. and won against the Green Bay Packers. So I, I'm going to quote my man Lil Wayne. I'm texting back and forth on Saturday night with Lil Wayne, who's no Cowboy fan, trust really? me, because he's a big Green Bay Packer fan, and he's a mu he's like you. He's a much bigger Zeke fan than a Dak fan. But it, we went back and forth a couple of texts, and this was his conclusive line, and I'm going to read it here because Lil Wayne is deep when it comes to sports. He's very insightful and profound. And he said about Dak Prescott, it's – like he's playing for something more that everyone else on the team is playing for. That's how I feel when mm -hmm. I watch him. Like, this is all guts, all heart. Mm -hmm. Like, whatever I have to do, if it's with my arm or my legs, I'm going to do that to win this game because I want this even more than anybody else on my football team wants it. Well, you can't quantify that intangible. That's just a winner's intangible. You're, you're either, you either have that or you don't have that. And you played with guys who had it. I think you had it. Yeah. You just have it, and you can't coach it. You can't teach it. You can't develop it. I think the thing Dak realizes, Skip, is that if he plays the only position that a Super Bowl matters. Hmm. If a wide receiver is on a team that wins the Super Bowl, they're not going to say they won the Super Bowl because of him. Mm -hmm. yep. You win the Super Bowl, now unless, you know, unless it's a situation kind of like what we had in, in, in Baltimore or Brad Johnson with Tampa. For the yep. most part, Skip, the quarterback's going to get the lion's share of the credit yep. because he takes the snaps and he's going to have to make a throw. He's okay. going to have to make decisions that either help or hinder his mm -hmm. team ability to win that game. Okay. So Dak understands that, Skip, no matter what we think of him. And we can say, oh, it's Zeke, it's Zeke, it's Zeke. But if the Cowboys get two and they win the Super Bowl, Dak understands who's going to get the credit. Mm. Well, does he? I, I don't think he cares who gets the credit. No, no, no. But I, 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 I'm, just, so. I'm just saying how the perception, okay. how the view. All right. Skip, we look at Joe Flacco totally different because he won that one game. Okay. Joe Flacco's been terrible in the regular season. He's led the league in interception. And then now everybody, we're going to talk about him in a minute. Clarence right. Forbes. But because he won the Super Bowl, we look at him totally right. different had he not. Okay, so... 
do, do I credit Zeke for Saturday night? Yes, I do, because he had 137 yards. But, but how did he get them? On one play, he goes for 44, and it's the weirdest play of the year for his run. Yeah, because Griffin, Nobody's 26. Nobody's home. Nobody's home. He, 26. Griffin, I hate calling out players, Jenny, but I must in this situation. Sometimes. You have force. You are the, you cannot where, where let nobody. Go? I don't even know where he went. He's up, first of all, he's off the ball. And then he goes back to the middle. Uh, for what? I don't you know. are the force. I don't know. Yeah. I don't, nobody is home. Twice he it happens. Bounces it off, off right tackle. What right? did he look? I don't See, know. Nobody's home. He just runs. When people say more games are lost as opposed to one, those are the type of plays that get you beat. Those are the kind of plays that get DB coaches fired. Those are the type of plays that get defensive mm -hmm. coordinators fired. You have a responsibility. You are the force element, which means okay. nothing is All to right. get outside. Okay. You sound like an angry fan who yeah, because Seattle to win the game. Yep. No, mm -hmm. you know what I hate, Skip? Mm -hmm. Whether I pick someone in the middle of win or not. Because I know they practice this. I don't know what the defensive, what was the call?